Hi everyone, Greg here, and I just wanted to show you my birthday present that arrived a day late, but uh, still my favorite perhaps of the year. This is the advanced copy of Flowers of Battle. So you can see that the book actually exists. Um, this is the case binding that we set up, and I think they did a great job with it. The colors really pop. So I just thought I'd do a quick flip through and show you all what is, will soon be on its way to you. So a little of the end papers. Ironically, these were probably the hardest things for the printer to get exactly right. Introduction. A special thanks, that's all of you there. So I've lived in terror that we missed somebody, but we quadruple checked this. And uh, again, thank you times a thousand for all of your support. Our acknowledgments to the folks who helped bring this project to life on the inside. A little preface from my partner in crime, Christian Tobler. And then we go into the first part of the manuscript, which is going to be a discussion of everything from Fiore's life to those of his students, the uh, world in which he lived, the nature of the duel in his era, and so forth. So I'm just going to flip through this a little quickly because there's a lot of stuff in here, but I just want you to see how well the colors turned out. Um, they are just as brilliant as the digital files that we posted. So I'm super excited by that. Going to move a little more quickly so I can get to guts of the manuscript. So, once we get through all of that part of the front matter, talking about weapons and armor and so on, we then go through a literally play-by-play -play analysis of the manuscript. And that's what finishes up the front matter, as you can see here. So it's gonna talk about how the manuscript is linked internally, why the plays are ordered the way they are as far as we know, as well as some analysis and cross-connection to other manuscripts, both in and out of the tradition. And once we get through all of that, we then come to what you all really care most about, which is the facsimile and translation of Fiore. So, you can see it has a nice, slight gloss sheen to it. And I think you're going to be really impressed. We went with a higher quality paper, so this book should last easily through its life, through your lifetime, and hopefully beyond. It might be hard to see here, but when you have it in the light, you'll see that the gold figures have a slight gloss to them. It's a kind of lacquer quality. And the reason for this brown border, by the way, is that these images are at a one-to-one -one facsimile ratio. So you are seeing them exactly as they appear in the original manuscript. And once we make our way through all of that, we have at the very end a short appendix and glossary. And then that's it. So... In about a week, it'll be shipping to the States, guys, and then from there, it'll be on its way to your homes. So stay tuned.